Hey guys, welcome to another barn vlog. It is about 6.30 right now in the morning and I'm gonna be heading to the barn soon. My barn owner hurt herself a few days ago, so a lot of us volunteered to help with the barn. I'm actually off work today, so it actually worked out that I can actually help today. I hope she feels better soon, but I wanted to help out. So I'm gonna head to the barn right now and help bring horses in. There shouldn't be too much to do. And I'm gonna try to ride if it doesn't storm or rain really hard. If it's drizzling, I probably will still ride, but I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. And I'm probably not going to show you the chores because I am very awkward around other people when I'm vlogging. So I'll probably just show you like what other stuff I'm doing around the barn that's not around other people. So the chores are done and I just tacked Sassy up to ride. It is drizzling a little bit but it actually feels pretty nice out so we're just gonna have a nice flat ride today and I'm actually riding with spurs for the first time so we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping it makes her a little bit more forward without making her spicy so I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, welcome to this voiceover. I'm gonna be voicing over this ride when I started riding Sassy with Spurs for the first time. I don't think I've ever ridden in Spurs and if I have, it might've been like once or twice when I was younger, but this is my first time with Spurs and unfortunately my Spurs, I don't think were put on super correct. My strap I think was too long and I should probably punch some holes in it. So they were starting to get loose throughout the video, but currently I'm just trotting Sassy along on a loose rein and she's starting to stretch a little bit more. I warm her up on a loose rein to encourage the stretching because she can be very stiff in the beginning because she's an older horse. So now I believe we are just circling. And I really hate my arms and my hands in this video because I feel like they just don't look that good. I'm picking up the canner right here. And I was doing a half seat for most of this and I was trying to keep her quiet. She was getting a little bit more forward with the spurs, which I liked because she was more responsive. Currently circling here. She was really good once I asked her to canter both ways and then she started to get a little bit tense after that, but I'll get into it once we get to that part. So I'm continuing to canter. I wish her head was a little bit lower, but I just need to learn how to encourage her to stretch at the canter. So now I'm just trotting right after I come down from the canner and she's starting to get a little bit tense and forward, but she was stretching a little. So now she's starting to get a little bit more tense because she knows she is going to canter soon. But I was also riding her in the morning and I typically ride her at night. So I think she might've also had more energy from just being ridden in the morning and it was a little bit cooler and it was drizzling. So I think she was just feeling pretty good. So now I'm asking her to canter and that was a super ugly train canter transition. So I'm finishing cantering the circle coming along the short side and will be going along the long side but then I come up the other way just from the other side of the arena and then I believe we will be circling right here. But her canter was very nice today. I thought she was being nice and forward without being too strong but she just started to get strong towards the end of the ride and then she gave me a beautiful trot coming down from the canter which I loved. It was very forward and stretchy. And now I'm just giving her a little bit of a walk break, encouraging her to stretch a little bit. Sometimes when Sassy does walk, she does kind of root a little bit. And then here's when she started getting a little bit more feisty. So as you can see, she, giraffe lady's coming out. So she's sticking her head up a little bit more. And when she does that, I try to just give her her head a little bit, but also I don't want her running off. Not that she's gonna bolt with me. She's just gonna do a really fast trot. So she's definitely getting a little bit more tense here. So I did a figure eight, a smaller one. It wasn't very proper. It wasn't the best figure eight, but it was a figure eight. We were a little bit drunk coming up the center line right there, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> and then just trotting along right here, starting to get her to soften slightly, but she was just getting a little bit more forward. And I think she was just feeling good because it wasn't as hot as it normally has been lately. And then she's giving me a really nice trot right there. And I'm encouraging her to stretch down the long side. Currently just giving her a little bit of a walk break right here. You can barely even see my spur on that side. I think it's like halfway off of my heel. So I need to get this fitted better. And she started to go into more of an uphill frame there, but I think she was just being tense. And then I did bring her to a halt right here because she was just ignoring my aids. And then I think here is when I started to give her a bit of like a hand gallop or just really like open canner because she just really wanted to canner. With senior horses, you kind of just have to pick your battles sometimes. And I let her just canner both ways as long as she wanted to. And she did give me a nice 
soft stretchy canner towards the end of each lap each way so once i did the final lap each way i did let her do a nice stretchy trot afterwards she came down and gave me a beautiful stretchy trot and i wish i got the rest on camera but that was it for the ride hey guys i thought i would let you know how my ride went i am going to voice over my ride and i'm squinting right now because it's so bright outside even though it's cloudy but sassy was a little bit feisty with the spurs nothing bad she was just more forward which i wanted so i got what i wanted i just have to learn how to work through when she's a little bit more dragony but overall i thought she did really well with them so here's the good girl right now i just hosed her off i should give her a bath soon but i did make sure her tail is all brushed out she is a little bit itchy with her tail because it's dry so i gotta put some stuff on that but as you can see she's pretty sleepy are you very tired I'm very tired so i'm just gonna go give her some treats and i think i'm going to either clean my tack or my brushes i really should do both but we will see i'm not really sure if i'm going to get through both Hold on. I'm gonna let her walk into her stall because she knows there's carrots in there. Go on. Oh, she says I'm very excited for carrots. And then I need to take her halter off too, but I thought I would just put them in her little feed bowl right there. Oh, is that good? You're gonna inhale those. Did you even breathe when you're eating them? Oh, okay. I think she's a fan. I think she's happy she got some carrots. Okay, so we're a little slanted and in the tack room, the lighting's actually pretty good in here, but I'm gonna be cleaning my saddle and my bridle. My girth is fleece, so I can just throw that in the wash sometime soon. I gotta wash my saddle pads again soon too, but I'm probably just gonna clean my saddle and of course like my stirrup leathers and stuff. And then also just my bridle. I might clean my boots too. I'm not cleaning a ton of stuff today because I'm honestly pretty tired and I just want to go home and shower. But I definitely want to get something done other than just riding because I've been putting off tack cleaning for a while. And then you're currently sitting on a western saddle horn because I didn't really have anywhere else to put you guys. But hopefully it's okay. I know you guys are a little bit slanted so I apologize. I'm pretty basic when it comes to tack cleaning. I'm not the best at it and I don't like suggest the way I do it. But this is just the way I do it. I have a sponge right here. It is used before, but I have it wet right now just with some water. And then I'm gonna be using another sponge with the FX Later Balsam or Leather Balm. And I actually really like this. I feel like it hydrates my leather very well and conditions it. So I'm just gonna start cleaning. after I cleaned it and honestly it wasn't that dirty because I did clean it like I think a month ago and I always have a cover on it so if anything it just has little sassy hairs on it and it looks like it just got a little dust from me putting on the couch to clean the bottom but overall looks pretty good this is the other side I actually am going to work on my stirrup leathers in a second but I did, wanted to take my bit off my bridle and clean it this is what Sassy's bit looks like after she's ridden because a lot of times she has grass stuck in her mouth or a lot of times I'll do a lot of positive reinforcement stuff so she has treats sometimes and yeah horses should probably not eat with the bit in their mouth but I always make sure it's safe and I give her like smaller easy to chew treats so this is her bit as you can see it's pretty disgusting but it is the Centaur Eco Pure D ring with an oval link or a peanut, whatever you want to call it. And she's been going really well in it lately. But to clean it, I'm just going to throw it in a bucket with dish soap and let it sit for a little while. And the last time I did that, I didn't even have to scrub it. It just like automatically took all of the gunk off. So hopefully it looks a lot better after I do that. And this is the bit all clean. 
I did kind of hose it off a little bit just to make sure I got all the soap off, but I didn't have to scrub it at all, which is really nice. And as you can see, there is no gunk on it, except for maybe like right here, but I think that was just dust. So it's all clean now. So I'm gonna work on my stirrup leathers. They're a little bit dry, and I probably should punch some holes in them because I've been riding with more like dressage length stirrups and my legs are very short. So sometimes when I'm cantering, I feel like I lose my stirrups a lot. I can still like stay on fine, but I feel like my leg would just be a little bit more happy if I put my stirrups up one hole. But I have 54 inch stirrup leathers, so they're a bit long for me. I just wanted to get some affordable ones that match my saddle. And I got the Camelot ones, and I think I got these in like maybe December or so. That's one stirrup leather done. This one feels really dry. Let me try to get up all in there so you can see cleaning. You can see, it's getting a little better. I finished my stirrup leathers. Now I'm gonna move on to my bridle. So I have an HDR bridle and I actually really like it. The crown piece is nice and thick and padded and I would love to get another one of their bridles, but I did take my reins off, take my bit off because my bit's soaking to clean it. And it just looks a little bit dingy right now. And then that's what the back of the nose band looks like. So <laughs> a little bit dusty there. I'm gonna clean it. After cleaning it I did clean my reins as well and I'm too lazy to put my bit back on my bridle right now so that's the current setup I'll fix it the next time I come out here's the after for my saddle very clean now conditioned and I did put the stirrup leathers and stirrups back on it so it's definitely looking a lot better and feeling a lot better Hey guys, so I just got home, set you up on my windowsill right now, but I just wanted to show you a couple things that I got from a tack shop. It's two of the same thing, but I also got one thing from Smart Pack, and I'm waiting on another portion of my order to come through, but I'll probably just mention that in another video. So I'll show you the stuff I got now. So I just set it on my couch right here. I ordered Vetrolin from Smart Pack because it actually was pretty cheap and it came so quickly. It was under $14, so I love that. And I love that they wrapped this part right here because I could smell the Vetrolin through the package, like when I opened it, but it actually wasn't leaking because I always get weird about ordering like liquid horse products because I never know how they're gonna ship it. And then I just ordered two of the Farnham Nature Defense fly sprays. Sassy is very sensitive and that is pretty much the only fly spray I can use on her. And it actually works really well, but I literally just ran out today and I've been struggling to find it. So I found it at a local tack shop. I don't think I found it on Smart Pack, otherwise I would have ordered it. And then State Line Tack, it was out of stock. So I'm glad I found it at my local tack shop, but that's all I got. So that was my morning at the barn. It is a little before 12 right now. I think it's 11.30, but I'm glad I got a lot done at the barn. I wish I washed my brushes, but I was just lazy. And then some of my barn owner's relatives kind of came in and they're not horse people. So I didn't really know them and I'm already awkward around other people vlogging as I mentioned. So I didn't really want to vlog around them. And I was already there for a couple hours, so I decided to just wash them another day. Probably should have just washed them today, but maybe I'll do it in another video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you want to check that out. It is Courtney K, and I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.